This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and my personal collection of locks includes quite a few from the now defunct Soviet Union. And those locks tend to be really easy to recognize. Overly bulky, lots of cheap zinc, sand cast iron. Where there is steel, it's rarely hardened, and when they use a pin tumbler mechanism, it often has laughably sloppy tolerances. Well, this is a lock that hits every stereotype of Soviet-era security hardware, and I bought it assuming my research would reveal it to be from some 1950s Soviet foundry. Well, much to my surprise, I found out it was made by a Ukrainian company, Apico, that wasn't even started until 10 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall. This boat anchor of a padlock, which is still produced, appears to be an homage to those awful locks of the past, and its pick resistance is exactly what you'd expect. So, let's see what it takes to get this open. I'm going to use my covert companion. We'll take out our 50 thousandths thick turner and the new riv pick. And from the riv pick, let's take out one of these wave rakes. Okay. After just a couple seconds of raking, we got that open. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. And once again, we got into it very quickly. Okay, folks, I'll admit that I really like reproductions of interesting old locks, but there are also locks that richly deserve to be on history's scrap heap, and these types of locks are certainly among them. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.